Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an updated SJSU q and I'm actually at SJSU right now. I'm in a library study room and I just got done with Admitted Spartan Day. And I actually met a few people who said that they watched my videos, so shout out to all of you. So I have the questions on my phone, so let's get into them. The first question is, what are the pros and cons about SJSU? The number one pro for me personally is that they have a PR program and not a lot of schools in California have PR programs. And that's what I'm majoring in now and that's what I was planning on majoring in when I was in high school. So that's one of the really awesome things about this school. They have a lot of different majors and a lot of different programs and that's mostly just because it's a really big school there's more than 30,000 people here so they can have a lot of different majors and programs the second pro for me is the cost it was by far my cheapest college option because in-state tuition and I can commute so the price is definitely really good if you live in the area and you're from California there's a lot more pros but I don't want this video to be too long so I'm gonna move on to the cons first con is also something that I said for the pros and that's that it's in downtown San Jose one of the problems with the school being in downtown San Jose is that random people can just walk on campus at any time which can be kind of annoying at times, but that's what you should expect at any school in a big city. Another con is that the administration is a little bit slow. It can take a while to get classes transferred and to get information, so you really have to be proactive and you really have to seek out that information on your own. The next question is about Greek life and clubs and what those things are like on campus. I'm personally not part of Greek life at all, so I can't really say anything about that, but I am part of PRSSA. I'm wearing their shirt right now, which is the Public Relations Student Society of America. It's an amazing organization. I'm on the board of it now and you all should join if you're coming to SJSU next year. The next question is at orientation do you pick your classes for the fall and the spring or just for the fall and the answer is just the fall. I'm not going to go into too much about orientation because I will be making an updated video about that soon but I do want to suggest that you all sign up for the earliest orientation possible because you pick your classes at orientation. So if you have an earlier orientation date you get to pick your classes before everyone else so you're probably going to have a schedule that is a lot better. The next question is are the students competitive we're not competitive. From my experience, it's a little bit of both. There's some people that go to college because they're really serious and they really care about college, and there's other people that just go there to have fun. I think it's probably about half and half. About 50% of people really care and are really competitive, and about 50% of people are not that competitive. So I hope that answers your question. The next question is about switching majors. This person picked a major when they applied, but now they want to major in something else, and they're asking what they should do. You have to be enrolled in the school to switch your major, but what I would suggest doing is explaining to your advisors at orientation that you're planning on switching your major, and then tell them that you want to sign up for classes for a different major than the one that you got in for. They will probably give you a roadmap at orientation that is based on the major you selected on your application, but if you want to do something else, just let them know and ask about how you can get that process started. The next question is a little bit more serious, and that is, how's the safety at SJSU? Is it a safe place? I personally have never had anything happen to me. I've never been robbed, I've never been attacked, and I walk all over campus and I take public transit really early in the morning and really late at night but I know a lot of people that have been in unsafe situations and I do think that there's a problem with safety on campus there's crime just like there is in any other big city so you have to be careful and just try to look out for your friends and just other people and try to do something or try to contact the police if someone's getting robbed or attacked last question I'm gonna answer is what's your number one tip for incoming freshmen this is a really hard question but I think my number one tip is to get involved with some sort of club or organization on campus I got involved with PRSA my first semester and I've met so many great people through them and I've also learned a lot about PR and I've learned a lot of skills through that that have helped me to get more jobs and more opportunities and I feel like I'm involved with an organization that's going to help me do the things that I want to do in the future so try to find an organization like that that can give you a sense of community and direction and that can help you do all the things that you want to do in life so those are all the questions that I'm going to answer in this Q&A if you have any other questions feel free to comment them down below if you have any questions about orientation feel free to leave those down in the comments below I'll be making an updated orientation video very soon so look forward to that thank you all so much for watching this video major shout out to anyone who came to admitted spartan day i love you all so much stay awesome and i'll see all of you very soon with a new video goodbye